Well, you know what sucks? When you wake up in the morning, you log in the Discord and find a Discord there that is no longer there. This is uh, what's going on with the Sweet Baby Inc. Discord. It was something that happened earlier today as I shoot this video. This will probably come out a few days after. Their Discord was hacked. One, someone got a hold of one of the amazing accounts and banned everybody that was somebody in the Discord. Uh, they got rid of uh, certain chats that are very interesting to say the least. So a lot of people are writing this off as a, uh, as a random hack but they got rid of certain channels in themselves that were something to get rid of and target. So this is no just random target at this point. Well, before we get fully into the video here, if you want to know more about the coverage of Sweet Baby Inc, I have a whole playlist on everything that has gone down. So hit the subscribe button. Do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button today. From Kabutis Rambo, uh, the person that created the group and created the Sweet Baby Inc. Steam Curator Group. Uh, Sup guys, I was away for a whole day and got back home. Yeah, the Sweet Baby Inc. detected Discord server has been hacked. An unknown person managed to hack on a min account, nuked numerous channels, receipts, artist works, an indie game project that was being built in the server together with many others, banned our full list of creators and devs, plus around 2,000 more people. There is there's I, I, quite a bit of people in that Discord, and they banned everyone that meant really something there's a lot of people that are in the discord that are there just to get info find out what's going on and just overall to communicate normally but they targeted all of the creators that were in there they targeted everything that actually meant something in that discord and that's where this is no random hack thanks to my staff it stopped before it could do harm more harm could be done to the server. You guys are my heroes. If you got banned, DM a moderator and you'll be invited back. Sorry, and he lists a um, um, a bunch of things that have been banned. Um, and then down here, you know, I I, I um, respond with hacking constant on Dis Discord. It is a legit problem, and there is many many different uh, back doors to Discord, and that's what I mean by that. There's many many people that do hack Discords. It's to the point here where Discord has become a hotbed of hackers. It's absolutely crazy how many cyber criminals are actually operating through Discord. But if you look at the comments here, someone's saying this looks like a random attack on Discord. I've seen happen uh, a lot because people click on suspicious links and Kaibutis responding going, no, it is. We already confirmed it. They targeted the most relevant chats and that's the biggest thing out of this. They went after everything that mattered at the start of this hack. It's not that they just randomly shut the Discord down or randomly sent everyone a DM to say and click on this link. No, this was a targeted attack over somebody that all he did at this point is make a Discord, make a curator group to, to fight back against what's going on in the games industry where games are being polluted with an absolute retcon you know this is also on the heels of uh it's a uh, suicide squad losing 200 million dollars mostly because of sweet baby inks involvement because the storyline that they sat there and they changed this is what's going on these companies are writing these stories then they go to these sensitivity readers or these these sweet baby ink people and they change it to fit their narrative, to fit an agenda, to do something more in the game that doesn't need to go in there. The, you know, I, I recently, I know in one of the car vlogs, I spoke about how anime in itself, there, it's uh, one of the companies out there, Disney, is looking to change Japanese anime for more modern audiences. Well, if you change anime to a more modern westernized audience, is it anime anymore? Is it what we appeal to? It, does the art form or the, the storytelling from Japan then keep 
a sense of itself, does it stay anime at that point or does it become a bastardized version of, with Western cultures that absolutely push it down and everyone loses the appeal to watch something like that. It's the same thing with video games. There's great video games out there, many of them, and people were flocking to those games because they were good. Not because these remakes are coming out here, then changing and censoring outfits, then uh, and censoring or changing the way the storyline was by making retcons like we see with Warhammer, where they, they take the costis and turn around and retcon it to someone else being in there that never was there in the first place now we just get we we, we get left at the wayside people enjoyed these items the fandom gathered around these items built up these video games these fandoms these animes these games and now suddenly someone comes along saying no 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 you can't do that my book says it's different and we're going to change it to be westernized modern culture and more inclusive and that's absolutely where the problem is with all of this that people are not seeing people sit there and they say well if you don't conform to this to these ideas of making these changes then you're suddenly a racist a, a bigot a misogynist everything out there but then the appeal is gone nobody wants these things to change that's the problem the, the draw for all these games and like for all of these art forms in the first place was because of their uniqueness, because they were different or because they were great. And if you take away that greatness, what are you left with? You, you're left with an IP, you're left with something that people can only pollute and twist and turn it into something that it's not. Anyway, you know, it, it, it sucks it got hacked, it sucked everyone got banned, uh, but from my understanding, a lot of people have been able to return to it. They've got a control on the situation at this point. It's really, really sad that I've seen these communities and seen the curator group come under such heavy fire from so many people, especially from Sweet Baby Inc. themselves, where they targeted the group in the first place, saying it needs to come down, this thing can't exist. Uh, and you have CBC up here in Canada, listening to Alyssa McConte just uh, spin her web and tell people how, what they think that this is really out there. And it's not. None of these people that are in these groups are racist or misogynist. They just want to enjoy the games the way that they were designed in the first place and not have this rewriting of the tales just to fit in some narrative or some agenda that doesn't make any sense to the storyline. It, it changes the art form and it makes it less of what it really can be. It takes the potential away from the actual game developers that are trying to tell a true story in these games and trying to tell something or do something that actually makes something more. But no, today we have to deal with everyone just trying to take away something that was once great. And that is the biggest problem I see with a lot of what's going on with all of these pushes, all of these DEI situations, which is just another form of Marxism at this point, um, and affirmative action. It doesn't do any good and it just drives everyone down and it create more racist things that don't need to belong in, a, in all of these. And it, it, it just, then all of a sudden, everyone else that's fighting this they're the racist ones, but the ones that are fighting this are the ones that want to see things done correctly and done right. Anyway, I'm your Proc Canadian Phoenix in a Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.